Welcome back to our life in the mountains. We're Jaime and Chris, and this is our baby Noe. We've been wanting to do another day in the life video since things have kind of changed around here with a baby. I'm going to drop you off to join us for a beautiful rainy morning coffee in the Smokies. And then we're going to take a little hike on the Blue Ridge, which was my first postpartum hike and Noe's first hike. And then I'm going to show you a bit of what it's like for us to get used to working remotely and fall back into our life with a four month old. It's been wild. By the way, if you subscribe, which you totally should, we had a big Spain teaser in our last video about future plans. We're still working through those, so stick with us. All right, Monday morning continues with yes, a porch does. coffee and some brainstorming for the birth video that we're gonna mention in subsequent videos. It's taken us that long to get it to go up. Mm. I think after yesterday, we have a good plan for it. Um, so we're gonna collect those thoughts today and hopefully I will have that up, not hopefully, I'll have that up this week. And I've started to percolate on my next book idea, which is also pretty exciting. And I'll share more of that later, but for now. For now, we are going to be chilling on the porch, having some coffee. Put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. It rained all day and honestly, we weren't mad. Sometimes when it's sunny out, we feel bad that we're not gonna get out more and it's pretty challenging with a baby. So whenever we can just hang out on the porch and know that this is exactly where we should be, life is pretty sweet. morning when there's not that much poop in the diaper. doing a trail we got the dogs we have Noe and uh, we're feeling good you feeling good baby feeling fantastic. yeah feels really good so you guys may or may not remember this I will link the video we did this trail um, when it was raining last and it was so beautiful but we hadn't seen it dry and it yeah it was during the pandemic it was one of our first really long hikes um, for me at least and wow it is it's so gorgeous up here it's the beginning of june but it's so cool when you get to this elevation so it's like the perfect time to visit and do this hike 
we're gonna we're gonna link some stories on our Huga House Instagram and if you don't follow us there definitely do we share all kinds of things about our two um, apartments that you can rent we share things to do around Bryson City if you're ever thinking of visiting and uh, all kinds of cool trails so we'll link that as well look at that that's my husband two unruly hounds and one savage baby doing a great job I think she's kind of cold, but she's not complaining, so I think she's just enjoying it. <sighs> How you doing, Noe? How you doing? Hey, my dog had to poop. Ah. Uh. There she is. <laughs> Off trail, as always. Like a lady. She's a lady. Good girl, Bo. I think we're gonna keep pooping. them off leash for a little bit. Okay. Just gotta alpha them. She agrees. Alpha is my command for heal. You guys can borrow it. It's way cooler than heal. You will. We all know. And I uh, just say alpha and dogs let me lead. Kind of great. I'm gonna train her as well. She's training us. Hey. In that alpha in use, probably the best thing he's ever taught these dogs is alpha. Our dogs, for whatever reason, do better off leash and train than on leash. They really just hate it. done this since before my child was born, so I'm super excited. goes out but I see that there is actually a bunny rabbit and um, so I'm not gonna do that because we're not gonna have that happen Let's see if I can get him on camera no he is getting Noe's tear ducts 
are um, clogged. So I take a little bit of breast milk every morning and I massage her eyes to try to try to open them up. <laughs> Doesn't like it. I know it's cold. I know. So I'm pretty diligent about that. And then we tummy time her in a couple hours. Sorry, I gotta go for the other one. I know. She really doesn't like it. You could come a lot more patient with me though. Joined by my baby girl. She's hanging out right next to me. Say hey, Noe. She's not a huge fan of the camera. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Um. So, hi, Casey Boo. Oh no, there's a bun outside. Thank you, my jet. I feel like this dog misses us. Oh, she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. That's the place so bad. You want to play show bed. Okay. Um, <laughs> bless you. So yesterday we attempted to go to BCO Market, which just opened up across the street from BCO, our favorite tap room and outdoor shop in town. Um, if you guys are ever in town or traveling to Bryson City or the surrounding area like Silva, we actually have a one page guide of our favorite places and we've got to add this one. Um, I'm going to link that below for you guys. It's not going to be everything to do in this area. It's going to be just the things that Harry and I would recommend to our friends. So if that's something that you're into, I will link that one pager below. Um, BCO Market, I mean, it just came out so good. Our friends have been working on it. Um, and we went in there yesterday. Unfortunately, Sandra Dees, which is our friend Ben, our friend Ben's mom who makes amazing fried pies and a bunch of other sweet things um and they've got coffee it was closed yesterday so we went across the street and it was already the afternoon and Jaime was like I guess it's a beer day so he started off with beer and I took Noemi on her first solo stroll through downtown um, to go to another coffee shop on the other side of downtown um, and then I came back with my iced coffee we got some work done it was it was really nice you took a couple naps yeah yeah you did um, all in all it was a really good work from home outside day after what was actually a really rough night the night before she woke up every hour and a half which she has not done since she was a newborn there's a bunny outside. I just, I can't let you outside. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mia hasn't taken her eyes off the bunny. So, oh, um, Jaime got a ton of work done though. He was so happy about it. Um, he got to really concentrate because I kind of took the baby off his hands, took her for a walk, um, went to feed her a couple times. So he definitely had his time. And this morning, <laughs> She gave us some extra naps um, and before I feed her, I'm hanging out a little bit. Got some work to do too, trying to get our Airbnb apartments on booking.com, which is like harder than getting my degree from the University of Florida. Let me just start there. That is my actual complaint about this company. At this point, I've come so far, I just want to get the listing up. But honestly, if I would have known it would have taken this long, I would have given up a long time ago. Terrible, terrible unintuitive platform. Neither here nor there. But those are some of the things I've got today. I really wanna finish our video um, and start getting more into the posting habit. I've been vlogging a lot, so this video is really special and we've been I've been taking my time on it and so has Jaime. We've been both inputting and I've been editing and stuff. So I really feel like this week I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> it's gonna be a great week. I'm gonna do my coaching call, which I might have to do with Noe on a carrier, which she loves. Um, and that's what I've got planned for the day. I would love to bring you with us. Maybe we'll do a walk later. We've been doing some really good walks with her. She does awesome. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I've got 
for today. We definitely have had some busier days, but no is getting to that age where she's really good. She's helping give us those, um, those stretches of time. Yeah. Hey, sweetie pie, you're hanging out. We're hanging out, we're vlogging. Okay. Yeah. Life has been good. We can't complain. Neck strength, though. Look at that neck strength, Mama. You're doing so good. We managed to get ready. I don't know how. There's this little one. Oh, she wants to be up and in it all today. I'm gonna attempt to edit this video in the hopes that she will pass out. What do you think? My chances are. Okay, we're gonna get going. Let's get going. going to see if I can edit this video. Our child has fallen asleep, which is absolutely amazing. And hopefully we'll do something fun later, but believe it or not, this is actually a win for us. So the things we used to take for granted before are now the things we want to do. Yeah. Going out and getting a beer is like this thing that should be hugely celebrated because we actually made it. I think we actually try to go out and get beers and probably succeed 50% of the time. So 50% of the time, it works every time. I hope that you can hear this. The fans are incredibly loud, and I actually just texted Ben, one of the owners of BCO, thanking him because he put these two fans right here, which are both giving my daughter a breeze and acting like a noise machine. So it's a double whammy. It's amazing. Oh, I never thought about that. That's amazing. All right. To edit, I go. Who would have thought working on a Sunday would be our version of leisure? Jaime and I have a joke whenever any of us can get something done uninterrupted, we call it a spa day. So thanks for joining us on this super relaxing spa day. We'll see you next week for an actually relaxing getaway and a mini update on those Spain plans. If you're into spa days and mountain life, definitely hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.